Hello everyone, it's Rocco the Crins with another video for you on YouTube. Tonight, I really want to talk about Justice League Part 2, the movie. If it happens, uh, Joe Manganiello has said they're moving forward with the Legion of Doom uh, as the villains, I think. I'm not sure exactly what he said, I, don't quote me. But uh, I wanted to go over what I think of the, the actors and actresses who are going to play the villains. Uh, and, uh, you know, where they're going to come from, what movies they're going to be in. And I want to speculate a little bit about, uh, well, other villains that might appear in the movie. Like from Flashpoint, when we already got our villain for Wonder Woman 2, and uh, Shazam. I'm not sure exactly who's in that movie other than Dr. Savannah, but we'll get into that. Uh, so first things first, uh, I guess we'll just say, please like and subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. And, uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. I'm trying to, I'm working on them. I'm, I haven't got there yet, but I'm working on them. Anyways, uh, and I, since, yeah, okay, I don't have a Patreon or any of that stuff. Just trying to make some videos that people watch and enjoy. Uh, so tonight, I want to talk about the Legion of Doom. And we're going to start with the, the most recent casting, Kristen Wiig as Barbara Minerva, the Cheetah. I think this one's going to be awesome. I really do. Uh, I have never seen her in a movie uh, that I know of. Well, maybe she was in Adventureland. I think she might have been in that. But she was. She's like, she looks the part to me. I think she'd be a great archaeologist, Barbara Minerva. And, you know, they'll probably CG the the uh, cheetah anyways, but maybe use her face in the CG. I, don't, I doubt she'd do the mocap, but you know what I mean. I, I think it's just good casting for that role. Uh, you know, a lot of people are against it because she's a comedic actress. And you know what? If they're trying to put a little more humor in this, I'm fine with that as long as Wonder Woman doesn't kill her. But what I understand, I read the comics, Barbara Minerva and Diana are really good friends. Barbara Minerva is a uh, archaeologist. And where does Wonder Woman work in her day job? She works in a museum. They're like, it's perfect, you know? So, after that, we have the movie that's definitely coming out. It's going to be Bla uh, the Aquaman movie. We got Aquaman coming in December. And that movie's going to have Patrick Wilson as Orm, who in the comics is also... Ocean Master, and he is Arthur's brother, Arthur being Aquaman, they are half-brothers, you know, and uh, Aquaman is the heir to the throne, Orm wants the throne, you know, that kind of thing, it's it's uh, very Shakespearean, it might not be in the movie, it might just be a s simple little fucking movie, I don't know, but you also have, let's, I don't want to mess this guy's name up too bad, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, He's going to be Black Manta. And Black Manta is the number one Aquaman villain. You know, Aquaman has a few villains, but Black Manta is number one. We're just going to turn the light off, because this isn't working. And, uh, let's see. I'll just look over there. Like so. Anyways, sorry about this, people. Anyways, uh... So that's the Aquaman movie. We have those characters in the Aquaman movie. And they're going to be villains eventually. And we also have... Uh, okay, now we're going to talk about Dr. Savannah, Played by Mark Strong in the Shazam movie. Or Captain Marvel. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to call it. But he plays... Uh, he's the villain. And if you don't know who uh, Dr. Savannah is, he's a real piece of work. <laughs> He's like an, he's another archaeologist. He's he's trying to find the secrets of the pyramids and stuff. He wants to go into ancient Egypt and the other countries around there and find the secrets of the pyramids for his own gain. You know, he's no hero. He's not doing it for the sake of uh uh, you know, the museums or anything. And I do believe by the end of the movie he will be the one that uncovers Black Adam. I do believe that's going to happen. He'll be the one that finds Black Adam out there in the deserts. 
I mean, he's not a physical match for Captain Marvel at all. But he's, well, he's not smarter than Captain Marvel either. I, I sorry, I want to say Shazam. For those of you who know Captain Marvel from the Marvel comics is, yeah. Anyways, uh, I digress. So, Dr. Savannah, yeah, he, he just, he wants power for himself. And he's willing to do anything to get it. And uh, after him, we have, obviously, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor from uh, Batman v Superman. And spoilers for Justice League, he's also got a stinger in that movie. Uh, as does Joe Manganiello as Deathstroke. They're both in the Justice League movie, in the stinger. And it's Joe Manganiello who has stated that they're going forward with this movie. You know, this is going to happen. So, I'm I'm pretty stoked with the lineup of villains we got here. You know, you got Deathstroke, who really, I've seen it in a comic book called uh, Identity Crisis. He took on the Justice League and almost won. Just one man against the Justice League. Think about that. Deathstroke's real powerful and real good. Uh, you got Eisenberg... Or you got Lex Luthor and Dr. Savannah as kind of the brains. Then you got Black Manta as Muscle. And uh, Orm, uh, the Ocean Master, he's got like magic powers, so he's got that coming to the fore. And you got the Cheetah, who's like super fast and deadly. So you got a pretty good core of villains right here. If, if this happens, and all of these guys survive their encounters with the heroes that are coming up. And so, right there, I, I just want to say, like, okay, uh, in the comments below, what do you guys think about this? Do you think we got a good core? I mean, we don't know about these movies going forward. Uh, nobody's seen them yet. Uh, Aquaman has finished principal photography. It's in special effects until December. Probably reshoots if test audiences don't like it. <laughs> Like, you know, Deadpool. <laughs> but, you know, that's Fox Marvel. We'll get into that at another time. Uh, but, yeah, I think, like, you got two brains. You got a total badass weapon master. You got another guy that's like him, uh, you know, in, in the Black Manta. Then you got a magic guy, and you got the speed and the just the deadliness of the cheetah. Uh on paper, right now, this looks like an awesome t uh, matchup for the Justice League. As it stands, I mean, Savannah can come and leave Captain Marvel behind. He's he's going to have some abilities given to him by magic. You know, Black Man or Black Man, a Black Adam might just give him some abilities. Who knows? The, again, we're in the speculation part. We already know this stuff. Now I'm speculating. And, uh, so we know between now and whenever this movie's made, we have Aquaman, we have Shazam, we have Wonder Woman 2, and now I want to talk about the Flash movie. Who could be the villain in the Flash movie that could come and join the Le Legion of Doom? I know a lot of people want reverse Flash, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's the first villain. You know what I mean? If you're going to make a movie, make a good one. Reverse Flash is from the future. It, it just, it'll hurt people's brains. Flash got a job at the end of Justice League. Spoilers. Flash got a job. He's working in the forensic lab at Central City PD. Perfect place for him to encounter the rogues. And I really want at least one of the rogues to join the Legion of Doom. And I'm hoping for Captain Cold. I really am. And if you guys don't know who Captain Cold is, he's a guy, built himself a gun, shoots zero degrees Fahrenheit. and Because nothing moves at zero degrees, so if he shoots the Flash with it, not even his molecules will move. It's science. <laughs> I know he wears like a cool costume, or it's kind of corny looking, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I really like Captain Cold. On the TV show The Flash, Wentworth Miller did a bang-up job. I mean... I couldn't really see anyone else playing him, but there's got to be someone else to play him in the movie universe. Because they're not going to take TV people to be in the movies, which sucks. Because I think him and Heatwave 
were awesome on the Flash, and Heat Wave's awesome in Legends of Tomorrow. But uh, if we gotta cast Captain Cold right now, uh, hmm, who would I want to be Captain Cold? I really don't even know. It's got to be someone cool. I'd say maybe cast Christopher Walken as his dad. If we're going to get into the backstory of the character, you know? And then you have, like... Uh, hmm. Maybe Kevin Pollock as Captain Cold. He's a little older. He's been at this for a while when the Flash first comes on the scene. I think that might be good. I might be miscasting, but I really like him. I think he's a really good actor. I think he could bring a lot of gravitas to the character. Hmm. And he's one I really want to see on the Justice League Part 2, Legion of Doom. And, you know, of course we have to set up these villains through the movies. So, you know, the Flash is coming. I want Captain Cold. I want Mirror Master. I want Weather Wizard. I want the Rogues. I really do. And if you can get Mark Hamill to play Jesse James, I think that would be awesome. I know he plays Jesse James on the Flash TV show, but it'd be awesome if he played Jesse James in the movie. The trickster in a Flash movie. Well, that'd be, that'd be just too cool. I don't know who could play these characters. I don't really know. But the villains I want in the Flashpoint movie... Hopefully they don't call it Flashpoint. Hopefully they just call it The Flash. And, you know, he fights the rogues. You know, he's just come to Central City. He's, he's, all he thinks about is his dad in jail. He's got these weird powers. Now he gets a job. And then he sees how weird the city really is. You know, how all these criminals are out on the loose. And it's up to him to figure them out. But they work together. The villains do. They work together. Barry ain't got no team like he does on the TV show. He didn't have a uh, Killer Frost and Vibe and whomever else and Elongated Man and all that. No, it's just him and the cops versus all the rogues. I think that could be pretty cool. And I think it would make a pretty epic movie. Even if it seems small potatoes, the rogues together take out the Flash. He's got to learn. And then... It's still going to be hard for him to take him out. I, I, I just think that the rogues are way cooler than a Flashpoint movie. Because Flashpoint eh, should be so far more down the line than the first movie the Flash has. Flash is a character that's been around since the 60s, you know. I mean, Barry Allen himself, he died in 1986 or 7. And he was replaced by Wally West until 2000. Eight or so, I thought Barry was going to stay dead forever. I really did. And I would have preferred it, because Wally West is my Flash, but that's neither here nor there. So, let's see. That's that's what I want for the Flash. Uh, in, in the comments below, tell me what you think the Flash should have. Reverse Flash or Gorilla Grodd? Let me know. I think it would be cool to find out what other people think about this. Uh, anyways, let's move on. Uh... Of the movies we know that are coming, I, I have a feeling The Flash is the last one. And it it just hired directors, so it might not even be happening. I know Cyborg and Green Lantern Corps are out there a ways. Uh, they haven't really begun anything. So, I don't really want to speculate about those. Because, you know, they're, they're not even... Why, well, I, I think... Man of Steel 2 will come out before those movies do. And hopefully, Man of Steel 2 is like Superman versus the Parasite. And maybe Brainiac. I think that would be pretty cool, bringing the Parasite and Brainiac into the Legion of Doom. Might be pretty popular. I don't know who would play him right now. I mean... But, you know, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud about a movie that might never happen. But anyways, uh, I think I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, and like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, long live the Legion.